There's also an issue of public perceptions, which I think is another reason we need to focus on the positive. The public sees teenagers as dumb and rude, and we have polling data that, that indicate this, and the public sees American families as falling apart. The, um, in fact, most children are actually doing rather well. Um, this is a, an analysis of the National Survey of Children's Health, and I'll be talking more about that survey later on. Um, but I took the four domains, health, education, behavior, and social and emotional well-being, and we uh, coded positive outcomes for each of those domains. And then we looked at individuals to see whether or not they were positive on zero domains, one, two, three, or all four domains. And as you can see on the left, for six to 11-year-olds, 31% of these kids were positive on all four domains. For adolescents, not surprisingly, it's a little bit lower. It's 23%. 25% uh, in both age groups um, are positive on three out of the four domains. So it's about half are positive on three or four domains, which seems like a, a pretty decent proportion and I suspect far higher than the American public uh, would anticipate. In fact, we've done some polling that, that really does indicate exactly that. The American public uh, greatly overestimates the problems that American children have. I think, and this is a hypothesis of my part, but I think the fact that Americans hold such negative views towards children is in part, at least, responsible for their feeling that nothing works. You know, that things are bad, <laughs> they're not getting better. I think it has another implication as well. You'll see it at the bottom, there is a non-trivial proportion, 9% uh, of the younger kids and 13% of the adolescents who have positive well-being on zero out of four domains. Um, that's either a large number or a small number. In many ways, you could um, argue that this country, if people had an idea that, that we have a relatively small number of children who really need help, they would be more willing to help. But if, when you think that nothing works and virtually all children are in terrible shape, you are less likely, I hypothesize, um, to want to take action to do something about that. 